Haitian authorities now say at least 28 suspects were involved in the assassination of the country's president, lining them up for the world to see behind a table displaying firearms, machetes, and Colombian passports. Haitian police say 17 men have been arrested, including 15 Colombians and two Haitian Americans. Three suspects died in a gun battle, and eight others are still on the run. Haitian government officials identified the U.S. citizens to NBC News as James Solages and Joseph Vincent. The New York Times, citing a Haitian judge involved in the investigation, reports that the two Americans were working as translators and said they were not in the room when President Jovenel Moise was killed. Monsieur, monsieur, monsieur. With the country in turmoil, the U.S. is sending FBI and Homeland Security officials to help investigate. Some protesters don't believe the government's account and are skeptical that a supposedly professional group of killers could carry this out but be caught so quickly. Haiti is, is in a state of shock. Laurent Lamothe is a former prime minister of Haiti. Could an assassination like this have been carried out without some inside help? A lot of people are, are, are not understanding some of the ease of access to the president's house and the breakdown of security. There's been a complete security breakdown in the, the, the president's security detail. The former prime minister says Haiti's first lady was shot three times. Tonight, she's still in critical condition at a Miami hospital, Peter.